Chris Lowe by Stoma Awareness Week, and one family is sharing their story in the hope of saving the lives of other children with the disease. It's the most common eye cancer in children. 95% of cases are developed before the age of three. Aidan Karika was just two when his dad made the discovery. A news article about red medullostoma caught Tim Karika's eye three and a half years ago. One month later, the family was in Brisbane seeing a specialist about their son's eye. When they told us it was red medullostoma, and that it was really good that Tim had picked it up just by reading the article and looking at this photo. The white eye reflection in the photo was cancer. Doctors took immediate action to laser the tumour that seemed to grow with every treatment. And they also tried putting a radioactive plaque behind his eyes, trying to it off, which he spent three days in isolation in a metal body room. That didn't work, so the family made the life-saving decision to have Aidan's eye removed. The only problem he has is we're a bit wary of him doing contact sports, like football and things like that, in case his eye does come out. But the six-year-old has mastered his prosthetic and can pop it back in easily. Even in the schoolyard. I went to the office to get it in, but when I was getting up the hill, I put it back in. They actually had a day of it where they all wore, wore pirate patches. To get me. Except for you. And they all had to go at trying to catch a ball with just two-dimensional sight and get a feel of what it's like for Aiden every day. Aiden is a well-adjusted child, but this is something he'll have to live with for the rest of his life. He'll travel down to Brisbane every year to get his prosthetic.